Are you doing good? Listen here, you. Which one of you got my Blackstone bottle and chewed it up? Was it Melly or was it Tilly? This has Tilly's name or your name. Either one of you could have done it. Uh, where's Rooster? Why ain't you in your biscuit? It's too warm, isn't it? You you weren't in the last movie. No, you're in this one. Welcome to Washita Mountain Living. I'm getting ready to go outside and grab the big beast and start knocking down some big six foot tall weeds, Chinese privet, whatever I can knock down. It's very, very dry here. I don't want extra brush on my property. So I went out there yesterday. I didn't film any of it. I knocked off around the well house back there where that was all overgrown. And that's all I'm going to do today, guys. I'm going to put the camera on a tripod, film what I'm doing. Hey, some people like watching uh, those kind of videos. Some don't. As you know, it's October. I'm filming every day. Uh, so that's what I'm doing today. I've got to get this done. Even though a lot of it is dying, it is, you know, it's thick stalks that you don't want there. And some of it doesn't die. And I don't want it. And it helps my view back there. And, you know, the risk of fire. I've, I've been through a fire already once here. So I know how important it is to keep that down. So uh, probably nothing exciting. Uh, I'll try to make it exciting. Uh, Millie is not doing well. She's having a hard time walking. I, I imagine it's her arthritis. She's been playing hard with Tilly lately. And she's just had a hard life. And, you know, I give her some medication. I've ordered some CDB oil, which I know will help dramatically. But it's not going to be here till Monday. So, and I can't give her another uh, prednisone because they clash with CDB oil. So, I, want it, I don't want that in her system. So, let me get on. Let's go on outside and I'll show you what I'm doing, man. It's going to look different. I'm going to go, I probably not got, this, this stuff is very hard to knock down. Uh, and I got to be careful not to hit rocks because I got a saw blade and I don't want to create any sparks. I don't want to create the problem I'm trying to prevent. All right, let's get busy. All right, I'm going to start with this section here. Get all this privet cut down. This stuff is relentless, comes back year after year. Actually in there, it didn't grow at all this year, so... Uh, you know, the more you keep at it, the less it grows back. But, uh, when I bought this place, this stuff was so high. It was 15 feet high. You couldn't even see the mountains back there. And I normally never let it get this high. But, why cut things more than once when you can just cut them once? So, let's get all this cut down. I'm probably going to get to that here in the next few days. I got one, two, three... Looks like three dead trees right here. Those are gonna have to be cut down. And there's a couple back there, but uh, let's go ahead and start on this right here. All right. I got the saw blade sharpened. You sharpen this just like you would a chainsaw with a file. Now let's get going. Uh, give us some prime. down except for that i got some logs in there i gotta move out uh get a leaf rake over here rake this out later 
I'm gonna let these leaves and all that dry, die off a little. That way it's only sticks left. And then I can rake all this out. Now, let's go hit the jungle. Welcome to the jungle, baby. Oh man, this is gonna be fun. But we're gonna get it done, man. There's a tree stump there, y'all remember that? You're gonna see that again in a minute. Wow. You know what, Waddles? He's gonna love getting his view back. Yep. He's over there. He's sleep. He's sitting in between the door there. Well, even though it may not look like it, all that is knocked down. Now we just wait for the leaves to, the foliage to wilt away. And I'll go in and rake up the sticks, have several burn piles, but of course we gotta wait till the drought's over. Uh, I may have missed a few here and there. A lot of them, they're cut down. They're just big tops of the stalks yeah man that that's a whole lot easier than doing it four times a year and see this hasn't grown back any from when i cut it with the string all right well that's what i did today my blade is now shot it's beyond the point of sharpening uh i got a lot of use out of that though they're not terribly expensive i think 13 14 dollars i don't know but I think I'm going to go get a couple more of them. I'm going to get on this next. This won't take long. I always cut this in the winter. Uh, I like to be able to see if any coyotes or anything are running up on the area. Which, when you have outside dogs, you're never going to get that usually. They know, and they stay away. But some of this stuff needs to be cut back. Because, see, I like to maintain a two-foot, you know, space on each side of the trail and this stuff is just way overgrown and this is the tree i was talking about that's probably hell it's more than 20 feet tall but there's just tons of them all over the place yeah and i'm also going to cut all this out i usually do that as well gives you a nice area to come back here and walk i still would like to build a bench right here just maybe right there but now there's really nothing you can see 
it's grown up so much there's nothing i can do with that and that's fine but i'll get in here and cut all this down i'll go in there monday and get a new a new blade all right get that sun out of the way there hold on let me grab that sun where is it oh okay got that sun out of the way for you guys all righty I don't guess this is going to be too long of a video, but it's what I'm doing today. And remember, I'm doing this for Furry Tales Rescue. All revenue generated by my videos, 100% of it, for the entire month of October, Dogtober, will be donated to the rescue. Every single cent. So your likes, your comments, subscribing, all that helps. Go to a good cause. And I'm going to do this every year. What is this? This is not from my property. Is this an old bottle? No, it's a modern uh, perfume bottle. And that has to say Millie Moo on it. Let me see what that says. Millie drags home trash all the time. Let's see. What does this say? Crystal crystal bottle and the crystal is spelled wrong made in france huh i'm gonna hang on to that it might be old i don't know what do you guys think it was just laying right there i've never seen it so somebody drug it home i don't know that's kind of a modern cap i don't know much about bottles all right all right guys thanks for watching happy trails telly I ask you, did you do this? Do you want me to get a forensics team and see if your teeth match that? Did you chew my bottle up? I know you did it. I know you did it.